Welcome to The Cameraman. Join us as we explore the Earth's most challenging conditions in search of the ultimate adrenaline rush. From dodging avalanches in Alaska to surviving the most severe ocean conditions in the world, The Cameraman will reveal a unique behind-the-scenes perspective, showing you what it takes to get the perfect shot. After recovering from a near-death experience while filming in the water at the notorious Banzai Pipeline in Hawaii, renowned cameraman Ray Hollowell was inspired to create this show with the guy who saved him, his good friend and legendary filmmaker, Larry Haynes. December 31st, uh, 2002, just before the new year, was at a pipeline. It was a solid day, you know, some outer reef sets. and. And, you know, you're dodging the bombs out there, going under the waves. And I, put, I was looking back, you know, because you just barely made it under this wave. And I'm, oh, you almost get worked. And I'm, I'm seeing, like, oh, Ray, if you, you, you get flushed, you gonna make, did you make that wave? And I look back, you know, and the next thing you know, I see him face down. He's, like, in the death position. And I see his camera floating about 10 feet away from him. And I went straight towards him. As I'm trying to get him, another wave hit him. And then I'm almost to him in another wave. We went down, and luckily he was floating. Came back up, grabbed him by the back, flung him into me. And as I started going back, he was just, he was huge, just full of water. And I started squeegeeing his belly to get the salt water going. And I, all of a sudden, I started hearing him. Bubbles, bubbles were coming out of his mouth and nose, and just. But I knew he was going to make it. I go, you know, I got you. And taking him in, and there were some, you know, friends that helped out along the way, coming in, and and the lifeguards take over. And I mean, get him. By the time we got onto the beach, laying down, he was he was blue. It was like no pulse. That's when Freddie put the opiate down and him got the got the oxygen inside, and he started puking up all the water. And, and that's heavy situation. And uh, he spent a lot of time in the hospital. He was slammed on the reef so hard where it, it uh, scraped his helmet, put abrasions on his, on his face. He, he broke a collarbone, you know, and, uh, you know, fractured some ribs. And, I mean, he was on his, on his deathbed, but he, he pulled through with uh, no brain damage, doing great. And to, to do that, especially for a good buddy, anyone, you know, to be able to you know, life that was about to go come back is, is a great deal. Love you, Larry. Thank you, man. Yeah, nine days of walking Wash General. <laughs> I'm out of here. You did a great job.